Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. Have you heard of this game? <laughs> no, Ruka. Yo, don't get up here, okay? You come into this room. I know you're gonna jump on top of the computer tower because that's where the air conditioning vent is, and you're like, oh, I wanna freaking get cool here, Daddy. No, don't tell I'm not your biological father. Get down from there. Get down from there. You don't this is not a desk for cats. It would it's much too large. There is our seed, by the way. Alright, now that that ridiculousness is over with. Red chest with one spirit heart? That's a little strange, I think. It could make it all up to me right here. Ah ha ha! Alright. Cricket's head. It's the, the law of Cricket's head, which is... Oh, jeez. Well, if we lose the spirit heart, shit happens. It's early enough. The law of Cricket's head states that you have to pick up one Cricket's head per run, no more, no less. So, uh, we've already accomplished that. So now we can start talking about, uh, other things from stone and golden chests, I suppose. But that is staggering. Of course, Cricket's head is basically the best case scenario that you can get out of those. Especially early. And especially, like, for free. I don't know why I tried to open the shop there. I'll take punching bag. Um, part of the reason I take punching bag in this situation is because I uh, want to save a reroll for the potentiality that we get something truly shitty from the boss room and we probably will not have the opportunity to uh, pick up another reroll on this floor. I think that's, when I was thinking about it, I was thinking, you know, part of the reason that I'm more conservative now with my rerolls is because Nun's Habit has been nerfed. So if you get Nun's Habit D6, you still are, you're not getting that many charges anymore. Uh, which means that rerolls overall are a little bit less prodigious. There's also more shop items, so you're less likely to get Nun's Habit. Which, uh, you know, in, in vanilla was, like, the standard combination. You get Map, Compass, Nun's Habit, and then you're good to go. And if you go into the shop and you don't find Map, Compass, Nun's Habit, 9-volt battery, uh, you reroll them until you do. Now there's way more shop items, so it's, uh... It's less likely to get an OP combination like that that just allows a ton of rerolls. That was like an effortless fight there. I'm happy with the reroll. I could use the HP, and I'm actually gonna come back here and we're gonna... You know, I'm not expecting a payout, but if I could get to 5 cents so I could buy a Spirit Heart on the next floor or spawn an arcade and play the Blood Bank on the next floor, that's fine by me. I don't think we're gonna die here, so we don't have anything immediately to worry about HP-wise. And there's our arcade. So we'll just go in. Stake our claim and uh, move along here and know that we have that around for the future. More bombs would also be excellent. There is a tinted rock on this room. I'll take that. Contrary to what it may look like, we have not taken red heart damage, so we have nothing to worry about on deal with the devil terms yet. Although it would be amazing if I thank you if I could pick up that uh, spirit heart. If assuming there is a spirit heart in here, if I could pick it up early, did have to use two bombs there. I'm not sure if I could have put it any closer. It's possible, I guess, but I think probably unlikely. Even though we're on the cellar, we fought a difficult boss, so I feel like I'm relatively safe to go down to one half red heart here. Of course, we'll get the money, but we'll also get the added chance to possibly get the blood bag or IV bag out of it. And Child's Heart, a relatively good trinket for us to take with us if we want to continue with that line of reasoning in the future. But for now, 10 cents has us uh, hoping for a key pickup. I did botch some of the red heart pickups <clears throat> earlier on this floor. There was a double red heart that I picked up to refill a single red heart. Relatively minor, but, you know, could cost us a little bit here. Golden key. There's a spirit heart. There's blank card. Um, you know, we the last time we played as Isaac, I think we did roll blank card. I don't really want to, though. <laughs> like, I, I'd rather stick with the D6 because I find it more, more fun. We're going to have to go through that room. There's pretty much no way around it, but in the meantime... Why don't we come down here and... Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, no Tinted Rock available. We're going to be one-shotting these spiders, I think, as a result of Cricket's Head. So, if I can just put some shots in here, it's pretty unlikely that they're going to be able to do much to counter me. And bombs... No. Full health? 48-hour energy. That's great. Because of 48-hour energy, I felt confident re-rolling that. But I do kind of like Aquarius. Confident is the right word. Comfortable would not be, though. I, I was still a little uncomfortable as I was like, am I really going to re-roll an item that I kind of like? I could easily find myself wasting all the re-rolls there. But uh, it worked out fine for us. Oftentimes you'll find a tinted rock on that room, but it doesn't appear to be the case here. It's okay. More bombs, please. Or, you know, more any consumable would actually be very comforting right now. 
but we do have a reroll and almost like as close as we can be to a guaranteed deal with the devil. Yeah, that key is good for the next floor, but pin fight. I'm not surprised with. All right, let's get a good deal with the devil and just don't let me ball out of control right from the opening fucking face off here. I'm so ready. I want a disgusting run. Last run was pretty disgusting, but it can get more disgusting than that. Give me fucking brimstone, death's touch right off the bat here, and three guppy items. I know that's not possible, but wouldn't it be sweet? Um, okay. We got guppy's tail. We got, uh, the mark. I think we do take sacrificial dagger here. Wasn't looking for caffeine pill on the reroll there. But we'll get out of here. Um... It's a three heart deal, so I could have done better on it uh, if I'd re-rolled them. But every single one of the items was good enough in its own right to take. So it was a it was a weird one. I probably should have been a little bit more aggressive and re-rolled Sacrificial Dagger, which is, in my opinion, the worst of the three. But I'm I'm still happy with the way it went. I'm not disappointed in that at all. And I think it gives us a great setup for the future. And we still have one red heart. Uh, we'll reroll Black Bean. We should be more aggressive about stuff like that. Um, Curse of the Unknown is a little dangerous here. Because I think we have one red heart. The problem is I don't have uh, knowledge of how many spirit hearts I have. I think I have one and a half or two. So I, I'm very much on the fence about, hey, should I immediately go into uh, our... Nah, I shouldn't have used this here. Should have used it on the one down below. Oh, yeah, found the second secret room, though. And actually... That Maggie's Faith pickup is enormous. So that worked out pretty well, all things considered. Pretty unlikely that we get a deal with the devil here. So I think I'm going to make a stupid and lazy decision and decide not to uh, get a reroll before we go fight the boss here. Which is just Gertie Jr. I say just, but truth be told, the Gertie Jr. fight is pretty dangerous. It can be mitigated somewhat by exactly what happened there. It, it targeted my best friend instead. We don't get a deal with the devil, so I'm somewhat vindicated here, and the Halo pickup is pretty extraordinary for us. So yeah, Maggie's Faith is huge. It doesn't come into effect until the next floor, so we can now uh, come down here and go to this curse room, even if we lose, uh, you know, we take red heart damage, it doesn't matter, effectively. All right, now we can get, like, Guppy's head here. Can't win them all. The Gaz Rune will use that, and, you know, that stops our Curse of the Unknown and also heals us a little bit. So, now we're a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident, and, you know, I, I, I feel good about our decision to use that there. Relatively, you know, not not a, something that's going to have an enormous consequence on the overall quality of the run, I'm sure. Good to knock it out, though, and, you know, do it the right way. You like that dodge right there? I like that dodge right there quite a bit. I should have gone and re-rolled uh, Black Bean before I walked into this room, but... So be it. There's our Cancer Trinket. Man, I think we have to go with the Cancer Trinket, you know? That's not that good. Um, my my MO is like, if you're in doubt, you go for damage instead of HP. And our HP is not that bad. And our damage stat is great. So, uh... Hmm. It's a weird one. Our damage stat is so good that it feels like you have to take the Cancer Trinket or you're really missing out. I may well uh, sacrifice a spirit heart to get... Nah, I don't think I will, now that I look at it. I don't know which one of those is a library, which one of those is a shop. I think we just head down to the next floor, and we are going fast. Uh, that's... That's great, as far as I'm concerned, but I just want you to know I'm not rushing. I At least I'm not cognizant of the fact that I'm rushing if I'm rushing. I'm just doing a lot of damage in the early game. You know, when you pick up a couple of damage upgrades in the early game, those enemies are not very tanky, so you go from like three minutes of floor to like a minute and a half per floor pretty quickly. And if we can keep that going, like that momentum is really nice. Could really do with some more consumable payouts though. But this is good. We're, we're in a great position. Guppy is on our radar, if not, you know, necessarily immediately approaching us. And, uh, damage is great, even if we end up, you know, no deal with the devil on this floor, next floor is Krampus, gives us, uh, head. Oh, I didn't... I should have taken Poison Touch. I, I think I forgot it. It's the kind of thing that doesn't make a big difference, but it is a poor play. Absolutely. At least I didn't forget anything super valuable, I think, but still, that's... I, I forgot a free item. Even if it sucks, it was free. So we can go to our shop now, and we... 
we will. Just in case there's something half price. There's not. BFF would be great to pick up, though. Pheromones. Um, it would make my... Or it would make Punching Bag bigger, which is not worth anything, but would be funny. And a great item for the future. Alright, but first things first, Gertie. Uh, Gertie that only spawns enemies is fantastic if you have Sacrificial Dagger. You can tell, you know, this isn't my first rodeo. We've been down this road a lot. Just trying to make sure the flies are not shooting at me. They're shooting at Punching Bag instead. There we go. Alright. Very easy fight and a really good chance at a deal with the Devil here. Did not get it. That's alright. I'll uh, take this opportunity to stack up HP for our inevitable deals with the Devil in the future. In the meantime... Continue moving along here. Gotten pretty lucky to not take damage. I've been playing very aggressively with um, with uh, sacrificial dagger. That's okay. We should be able to not suffer too much. As long as every enemy dies before it even gets a chance to touch us. Works out just fine. That one, almost I almost botched that one miserably. That's alright. Let's slow it down a little bit. I'm playing a little bit too fast and loose. But we do... You know, we're, we're way ahead of the 8-ball. And we're so ahead of the timing. Like, we don't need to mess around with, with speeding through these floors at all. That's just a recipe for disaster. Bad trip pill? What can you do, you know? No amount of, of good play is going to make it so I don't accidentally take a bad trip pill. At least, you know, as long as we don't know what it is. Um, we have the magnet out of our golden chest. I did re-roll Bob's brain just in the interest of safety. I still like it as an item. I will take Skinny Odd Mushroom in this situation. Didn't take it on the last run because I don't think it works well with Mom's knife. But overall, I think it works really well. Are we going to take the magnet? If we have no other options, yes. Why not? If we have options, I would rather re-roll it. Ultra Pride gives us the left hand, of course. Uh, all joking aside, left hand is real good. I should not stand next to the thing that's the exact target for all of those. Um, left hand is good, but I'm I'm quite happy with our cancer trinket as is. Looks like we're going to be stuck with the magnet. Nothing wrong with that. It's going to contribute to some consumable gain. It's not quite as good as the ladder, but it was also free. Well, it cost a key. No big deal. And we're going to be getting out of here right on schedule. 11 minutes, roughly. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that at all. So the magnet will work on like pretty much everything but chests. And uh, I, I can't remember if it gives us spirit hearts. It will attract hearts, but only if we need them. I don't really want to use bombs to look for magic mushroom. We might need them on the next floor. I will blow up our donation machine to get... Uh, yeah, I mean, here's the thing. The battery is so good, but at the same time, I gotta go BFF, man. Make Sacrificial Dagger bigger. It helps us out so much if we get familiars. I love this item. I, you know, the battery is so good for charging up two rerolls, then going into the deal with the devil. But BFF, it's, I've had an interesting history with BFF. From like chat always asking me to take BFF as I think a joke, basically, to me actually like kind of legitimately falling in love with this item. It's a Cinderella story. Well, uh, worry yourselves again because this hermit card plus no money right now means that uh, scumming the shit out of Boss Rush is definitely still on the table on this run. Halo of Flies is totally worth taking. Really good defense. I'm not sure if it really matters that they're larger. Maybe their hitboxes are bigger, and as such, we're less likely to take damage. Either way, anytime I get the chance to... I would I would always be happy to take Halo of Flies, unless we already had a full suite of orbitals. But uh, anytime I get the opportunity to take Familiars with BFF, I am all over it. Familiars or orbitals, for that matter. Uh, did take damage in there. This is a scary moment. Because we really, really don't want to fuck up our deal with the devil. <clears throat> we should have, by my estimation, we should have had one on the last floor. But, you know, that's that's the numbers. They don't always work out with what you want. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to pick up a spirit heart. Luck down. Eh, I mean, it, it sucks. It's, it's kind of insidious in the way it sucks. Because we don't really see it. It's all going to be behind the scenes. But... Did get a spirit heart out of that. That was a pretty standard template for finding the secret room, so I'm not surprised to see it there. 
That's what I'm looking for right there. Any opportunity where we can just sneak in and, you know, hit him with a rotation, especially if we're not in much danger ourselves. It's just beautiful. Uh, let's, let's try it. Amnesia. Man. Not loving the pills so far. That was almost terrible dodging there. With a sacrificial dagger covering, like, a hundred degrees, basically, uh, in, in radius, well not radius, but you know what I mean. Covering a hundred degrees of my angles right now, it seems kind of silly not to use it as offensively as possible, at least while we have a little bit of an HP buffer here for our deal with the devil. Um, it just, it kills things so quickly. I still can't help but feel that it's probably saving us more than it's hurting us. That could change pretty quickly though. I don't think we've been to our shop yet, so I think we might get him there. Uh, we'll just we'll hold off on using that key for a golden chest, and let's do this up here. This should be like a guaranteed deal with the devil. We've already basically finished the fight here. He's got like ten percent HP left, and now he's done. This is our deal with the devil. No curse of the blind, thankfully. Little Steven is bad enough to reroll. Man, no guppy items again. This is a shit haul for us lately on that one. We'll take our extra HP. And where the heck is our, uh, where's our shop? I haven't been to it yet. Fog Greed in the secret room. We've been there. Maybe we haven't been to the right? We haven't been to the right. Okay. These enemies are going to start jumping. We've already lost our spirit heart, so any extra damage we take here is just, I'm not going to say meaningless, but it's not that relevant to the, the overall discussion. Uh, Blood Bank is interesting, and we have a half heart, so I'll at least, you know, give it a couple of plays here and got IV bag out of it. If nothing else, that gives us something else to re-roll if we are lucky enough to get to that point. That was with authority there, is the way I would describe that. I would rather get to the shop than get a golden poop right now. With only one key. We can, we can buy a key on the shop. We'll probably save it for the next floor. You know, gotta be a little bit more forward thinking than that. Oh, that's huge. Okay, that golden key is enormous here. Uh, Humbling Mundle. Big pickup. I'll buy this as well. I don't think we're gonna have any money troubles once we start cracking open, uh, you know, golden poops and golden chests. We got a lot of them available here. Yeah, and with Humbling Bundle, that takes us over 18 cents already. Uh, this is not the way we've been, so... New stuff here. And we're slowing ourselves down. Maybe fucking up our boss rush chances a little bit. Maybe that's what people want to see. Six room. Reroll our whole run. I really like this run. And I've worked for it. And it's not super OP. I'm going to stick with it. If you want to say that that may means I have no balls or whatever. So be it. No balls. I'm happy with our damage. I'm happy with this run. And it, it was not. You know we're not rolling brimstone mom's knife. I'm not trying to protect a super one run. I'm just trying to protect the run that I've worked for for thus far. Gotta admit, the golden chest's not really knocking it out of the park right now, but... What did we get? It was just a... Uh, uh, blah, 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 spirit hearts. Oh, no, red chest. We're just gonna head down to the next floor, honestly. Like, there's uh, there's not much keeping us here. There was that IV bag we could have re-rolled again. I find myself not overly concerned about it. Most of all, I like the opportunity to have, like, almost... <laughs> Put it in like nuclear throny terms, like a. Uh, I don't know. Come on. Uh, a melee focused run with sacrificial dagger here. It's weird and novel, and I, I kind of enjoy it for that. All right, we're gonna go all the way down here. Money's gonna be ridiculous. Mostly hoping for that though. Yeah, that's that's a big pickup for us. And it's actually like. I think it kind of gets a bad rap using Sacrificial Dagger offensively. I would call it using Sacrificial Dagger proactively. We did get hit there, but those fistulas were coming one way or the other, man. It was just a matter of whether we waited for them to come to us or we came to them, so, you know. Oh, that was so bad. Sun Tzu, in the Art of War, he said if you can't pick the battle, at least pick the battlefield, so I chose the battlefield to fight them on there. I have high hopes for our deal with the devil situation here. I'm not going to hermit card it up just yet. Tinted rock is valuable. Just don't get hit by the bonies for like 10 seconds. Yeah. There we go. No problems. And this is a very big room for us. Obviously. Oh, we got him. 
Rate of Fire is just fantastic now. Oh, didn't even see you, but I gotcha. Charm Tears is good enough to take. Probably a greed fight. No. Uh, this is a reroll. That's a reroll. That's not very good, and go fuck yourself. We might be able to reroll it again later. Really uh, went hard on that one, but, you know, it happens. Assuming our boss fight's gonna be pretty close. We wanna have a reroll ready for either a deal with the devil or for boss rush. And yeah, this is gonna be the first time in a little while that I'm gonna scum boss rush, but like I have on the last several runs, it looks like we're probably gonna go to boss rush because we were lucky enough to get, you know, strong ish early, which just, it allows you to get so far ahead that it's basically impossible to fall back behind. Gotta be careful about this one. Probably a room where it's better for us to just stay as far away as we can. Oh man, that's a that's a lot considering we don't have mom's key. So our rerolls are gonna be timed perfectly here. And the spirit hearts don't hurt either. Perfect. Alright, let's get this done. With sacrificial dagger BFF. I'm not liking uh, mom's odds of hanging on strong here. Yeah, we're already done. We did get a deal with the devil, and of course we got boss rush as well. Let's take this. Uh, we got a Krampus fight. I would really just love Lump of Coal, so I have no reason to, to reroll. Lump of Coal, perfect. That gives us the chance to reroll the four items in the boss rush instead. Rubber Cement. I mean, there's something to be said for uh, Sagittarius, for sure. Rubber Cement's just cooler, man. We're not doing quite enough damage to just want to stay in there. Starter deck is great, though. I'll take that. Maybe a Rune along with it? No? Two of Hearts. And now we'll uh, explore all these terminals we didn't get a chance to explore earlier. That worked out fantastically for us. You know, I, I think Sagittarius is better than Rubber Cement, but Rubber Cement is way cooler. And as usual, cool prevails here. Get some sweet-ass ricochets. Oh, right, I can't fly. <laughs> Curse of Darkness. Uh, yeah, that was definitely Curse of Darkness' fault. It tricked me. Secret room. That is fantastic. Got it to blow up one of the mushrooms. Not quite as good as I would have hoped. To a heart's hero font. We'll probably just pop the hero font right away here. And Bob's brain. Which, in actuality, is not that bad because we can reroll it, but is pretty disappointing. Considering the myriad items we could have paid out from a golden chest to give me one that I'm going to get like every time I fight Super Sloth is annoying. There's another thing we can reroll, and we'll probably reroll that instead. Actually, we'll probably reroll nothing, in case you're interested. Because we're done with the floor. I'm really happy with the way this floor went down. I think that there's there's definitely a win in this run. Two of Hearts card, I don't expect to be a game changer to any extent, but I'm, I'm happy with the way this has gone down. I'm assuming maybe second secret room right here. And, uh, oh, that's great. Awas rune. We'll just we'll pop it and just see if we get lucky. Nope. Here a font, yep. Sun, worth taking. Emperor, worth taking. We're gonna go Sun Emperor, unless the last card is amazing. Wheel of Fortune, we'll just pop it down, blow it up. Sun Emperor is just a great combination here, and it's a lot of money. Okay. So it's looking good. We're really banking on this deal with the devil. I don't have high hopes for Guppy. And Curse of the Blind is always a piss off when it comes associated with a really uh, vaunted deal with the devil attempt. But so be it. I do think Rubber Cement and Lump of Coal are pretty sweet in conjunction. So I'm happy about that. Kind of a, a really, you know, a, a situation where we were spoiled for choice a little bit on our boss rush room. Better than having to take like, ooh, the best item here is stem cells. That happens from time to time. It's always frustrating. There we go. Getting up to six bombs. Sad bombs with Rubber Cement would be funny. Maybe not exceptionally damaging, but funny. And Sad Bombs, even at the worst of times, is still pretty sweet, so... We'll, we'll talk about that as it comes. For now, it's just a... It's a pipe dream. A whisper in my memory, but... Uh, let's hopefully find our boss room right off the bat here. Save ourselves some time. If we wanted to be real cutesy, we could start bouncing our shots off the wall to hit the enemy so they get a little bit more... Uh, Opportunity to bank some uh, lump of coal damage bonuses. I don't think that's the smartest idea because we're gonna end up 
probably missing more shots as a result. And, you know, I don't think the damage bonus is enough to justify missing a bunch of shots. If those were red chests, I would do it. They're not. I'm going to do it anyway. Bombs and bombs. Nothing wrong with it. And we're pretty much expecting these enemies to go down very, very easily here. Chubb is just... He's got no chance. Lived a little longer than Loki, I think, though. It's a little surprising. So the Sun card is a full health card for us. Sometimes we use it as the compass. Not this time. This is full health in case things go terribly wrong. The Emperor card is uh, skip the chest. Sorry, skip the cathedral and get to the chest. Uh, and then, you know, if we get if we get runes, we can always slot them in as necessary and replace one of them. But I don't think that's too likely. Not likely enough for us to have to care about it. So firmly right now. I don't really want to walk on the spikes to get to you, so I'm gonna just stay away for now. Yeah. Bloat is basically screwed already. Super easy fight and really good, uh, good mojo for us for the future. A snack is like, completely meaningless, probably. But uh, the fact that we killed the bloat so quickly and without really putting ourselves in harm's way at all is fantastic. So all we have to do is beat this floor and then the game starts to move real quickly. Don't really want missing poster. Fight Loki in a different way, and it didn't work out fantastically, but there is a tinted rock there. And that's a spirit heart instead of a golden chest for once. I'll take it. In a way, I guess, you know, rubber cement is kind of like piercing shots, because the shots do pierce, and then they kind of refract at a different angle. So, maybe this was the, the right decision anyway from kind of like a tactics or strategy standpoint. I think it's probably debatable. Piercing shots that go straight through an enemy. Uh, they're, they're pretty great as well. Plus it comes with a speed upgrade, but at this point we can probably just write that out of the trade-off because we really do not benefit from a speed upgrade. We're already probably a little bit too fast. Okay, I'll wait for the six bombs. I don't mind it. This is another quick run, like, today, I, I don't think I've played super fast, but all of my runs have been pretty quick, even the run recently where we lost as the lost and then came back as Isaac on the next run, like, those were all over in a relatively quick amount of time. The RNG, or RNGs as I should say, is being real kind to me today, which does not always happen. We have lost a couple, but we were merciful enough to lose them early, I guess. Alright, this is going to be a little bit more of a, a war of attrition than we're used to on Mom lately. Recently had a lot of spider armies and stuff like that coming through in the clutch. This time it's just us, but anytime we can rotate in a uh, sacrificial dagger play that protects us from damage and kicks the shit out of Mom is good in my book. Get this Emperor card ready, because we're pretty much about to do exactly the same thing right here. Might as well check out one room just to see if there's a Tinted Rock. I do not see a Tinted Rock on that room. So now, it's all about shooting properly, but also rotating to get that done. That was fantastic. We're already about maybe 70% of the way through the fight. That is amazing. Like, I know our, our damage is pretty good, but that's really, like, vindicating me for taking Sacrificial Dagger when we could have re-rolled it into something maybe a little bit more bombastic, you know? Well, this is like re-roll city right here. Revenge Fly is good enough. Everything else needs to get rerolled. Ipecac Rubber Cement is dumb, so I'll take it. We can bounce our Ipecac shots off the walls if we want. This is actually like, it makes our life worse because we can't afford to get close to enemies anymore to fuck with them. Uh, but now we can. I'm sorry, D6, but Sacrificial Dagger allows me to really fulfill my wet dream of me and BF, or me and, uh, Sacrificial Dagger forever. Sorry, Unicorn Stump allows me to fill my wet dream of me and Sacrificial Dagger forever. Together forever. Oh my god. Surprisingly tough to say. We'll come back for those hearts if we need them. I don't think we will. Might as well get a charge. Um, easy enough. It's gonna take us a while to get said charge, but that's okay. I can't believe we're not killing Monstro, Monstro in one hit. Monstro? Now Lumber and fucked her, for one. What a charming Ipecac shot, said no one ever, except these monstros. I think we'd, we'd made ourselves worse.
But we gave ourselves the chance for hilarious synergies later, I guess. That's a, that's two in a row where Ipecac has made us a little bit worse. Disappointing, man. Ipecac's a fan favorite. I like it. That was a great ricochet shot. I had a lot of fun with that one. Two of spades. Might as well pop it. We may need those. I really doubt it, but stranger things have happened. This will be our last reroll that we really take advantage of. I think, at least. Open it. Mystery sack can be good. It would be so good if the boss room was right there, like right as we got the reroll. Some synchronicity. Not a big deal either way. It doesn't really matter who we kill first, who we kill last. If you're not first, then you're last, is what I've always heard, but that makes you know pretty much no sense. I guess it's kind of a major plot point at the denouement, at the climax of that movie. Uh, let's reroll both of these. Oh, my Lanta Cricket's body is ridiculous with Ipecac. And with rubber cement, this is just a recipe for despair. However, uh, we're going to be pretty safe as a result of Sacrificial Dagger. So, like, I didn't take damage there. Yeah, I was just figuring just fire a couple of Ipecac shots in there and then use Unicorn Stump to make your life easier. It is going to give us a great ability to deal damage. It's just going to be risky in the process. All right. Got to find the boss room here. Proving a little tougher than I would have imagined. And just do like a little damage to them and finish them off with Unicorn Stump. No problem. Here a font card's coming fast and furious. This is like a pretty much unlosable run. Mostly as a result of the game's kindness. I'll take it, man. If you're going to give me some kindnesses, I'm going to take some kindnesses. Let's sneak in there. Samson's Chain, I think, does do a little bit of damage. It's nothing to really write home about, but it's all right. And I would be using Ipecac here, but these enemies are strong enough that... Or weak enough, I should say, that it doesn't matter at all. Um, anemia. Why not, I guess? Really? That was weird. There's a good reason not to take the quarter, which is we're already at 99 cents. I don't know, maybe we get a Perthrow rune or something. That... Oh, here's another message here. What is going on with this? I don't know why that took forever. Or why, why I got slow down there. It happened when I got a Steam Overlay pop-up that uh, my friend Mike was playing GTA 5. I guess now I've got to disable the Steam Overlay. Actually, I don't know what's causing this slowdown. This is weird. What's going on here? I mean, close. It's never good when you're like, is Google Chrome causing stuff in the background? Is it those open Twitch windows? I don't know, man. Now it seems to be running fine. Flush, whatever. Uh, we're just going to finish this off. This is a super easy one. It got easier as time went on. That's always a good position to be in. We got the sun card, so I'm just going to like stand right next to this guy. If we end up taking damage, we end up taking damage. We will be fine, though. Very easy run. That's another win. We're going to random next time. I hope you enjoyed this one, though. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.